Okay, here are all the items out of the box for the Para AR, AR Drone 2. I'm going to just quickly open up the uh, various options so you can see exactly what you're getting in here. There are four connectors here. I'm only going to be using the UK adapter, but I'll just quickly show you how easy it is to fit. So on the back of the um, unit, you've got some guiding lugs. You just, he says, <laughs> and twist. So there is actually a, a little push button here to allow you to put the unit on, to take the uh, adapter on and off. But once you've got the unit in, it locks in place really securely. So much so that I can't see what I'm doing. There we go. And obviously that unit plugged into your wall with your AR Drone 2 battery is going to be how you're going to charge the unit. On one side with the wire, you've got these four copper pins. And these four copper pins will lug so that it's snug within the unit. And what you have here is the battery within the charge unit that will go into the wall. Okay, the AR Drone 2 battery um, is different to the AR Drone 1 battery, so you do need to make sure you get in the right unit. And exactly as you'd expect, European plug, US plug, the Japanese plug, etc. All these adapters are included within the unit inside that bag, inside the bags, inside that box. Okay, the AR Drone itself, that's the outdoor hull. Getting the hull on and off, uh, there's a little knack, especially the outdoor hull, because it's quite large and the protective rings go around these propeller blades. There's a magnetic clap clasp on the very back. I lift up quite a steep angle to clear the blades, because obviously when you're pulling this unit forward, you're gonna, if you're not careful, catch the blades in these rings. And as you can see, the protrusion is the camera itself, which slides in to this hole here. So this is what you're actually trying to get in and out of the actual uh, unit to get the outdoor hull off. The indoor hull, sorry, off. Put that over there. This is the outdoor hull. The outdoor hull is a much easier unit to get on and off. Again, you've got to slide it over the camera, but there's no real issue with knocking the blades, etc. And again, at the back, you can hear that. There's a magnetic clasp that holds things in place. Okay. These red tabs that you get are actually easy peel plastic protectors that just give your unit a little bit more shine and sheen so don't worry about these these are meant to come off there we go that's my outdoor hull so i've obviously selected the orange and the blue there are quite a few colors available and people are already doing their own mods etc but i found the uh, i thought that the orange and blue would be uh, a really good contrast to stand out in the sky uh, and all the green and blue sky above i thought that the orange would really help keep it uh, really clear and visual to me Okay, um, I'm going to very quickly talk about um, a few things I recommend from the outset. I do recommend you get a, another battery or two. This is an official Parrot AR Drone 2. There are going to be some other companies selling um, Parrot uh, Drone 2 compatible aftermarket batteries, but I'm sticking with the official stuff for now. I uh, also recommend a few spares. This is the cogs and most importantly the pins that are part of the power air drain. So in here you've got here the blades. These are the cogs that these connect to and the pin is from the very top of the blade down to the bottom here just outside of the motor. So the motor is actually separate. It's just in here just above the foot of the air drain. And at the very, very end you've got the pin and the cog that mounts to the propeller. And i tell you why that's the case, because um, if you do damage the uh, Para AR drone, what's going to go first are going to be one of either the blades, the cogs, or the pins are going to get bent. Okay. Now the AR drone version 1 and 2, it can actually use the same blades, they use the same cogs, and they use the same pins. So they are compatible. The only item that I've got here on the table that isn't is the battery. Um, okay, I'm going to show you in some other videos some other tips and tricks with only the power AR drone. I'm going to just quickly show you the cover off again, where the battery goes. goes. You've got a sponge suspended area where the battery actually plugs into. You've got a little Velcro tie that lets you get easy access. You put the battery in in such a way that the cable is opposite ends and you've got a really nice simple easy reach 
connector that clicks in and there you have a battery mounted in your AR drone. It will immediately do some quick tests. You might see a little glow on the table there with some red lights coming from the LED corners here. And each blade and motor will do a quick little test to check that they are working fine. Even when the unit is powered up, turning and twisting the propeller blades both ways to feel, and it is about a feel as well as listening, to make sure that all the gears and cogs are connected is a really good tip before you take off. The other unit I'm gonna just quickly mention here before I finish is on the top here you've got the option to plug a USB memory stick into the AR drone whilst it flies. So you've got two options to record video. You can either record video directly to the USB stick memory stick that you've got plugged in the top or over Wi-Fi to your mobile phone, iPad, Android phone, etc. Um, personally, I'm finding that the quality of the video recording is better as recorded to the USB stick. Please check out some of my videos and uh, you'll be able to see some comparisons to, uh, to see what you think. Okay, hope you have fun as I am.